think that should work right there. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a very, very long time since I have filmed anything and it feels good to be filming another video again. I was gonna show Sophia how to drive stick, but she doesn't want to because she's scared. So I'm just gonna film this whole video sitting right here in the seat. As you guys can probably tell from the video, I am tuning my car today with an open flash tablet, which I got right here. This is the open flash V2. These things are really hard to get right now. So, you know, if you are trying to pick one of these up, they're sold out like almost everywhere. I had the hardest time trying to get this thing. I actually got this used off of Facebook Marketplace and I still almost paid full price for the V2. And I think that's just how it is. So the reason why I went with an open flash tablet is because I just, I don't really need to make a ton of power right now in this car. It just has an exhaust, uh, full head, it's full catless headers, over pipe, axle back. So there's no cats and it does have an intake. Because of no cats, I do have a check engine light. So this is the easiest way to get rid of it. So to actually use this thing, what you wanna do is plug it into your OBD2 port. And then it will turn on. I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step on like what I did to get it to work. So for starters, what you're gonna wanna do is after you plug it in, you'll get this screen. Um, and then from here, you're gonna wanna go to tuning and it will pull, mine, I already did this step, so mine's not gonna show. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pull up this, it'll give you the car, and then basically you'll pick it and then you'll push read and it will read your stock map. It's very important to save your stock to save your stock map from your car because if you ever have to like convert it back to stock, at least you have it and it stays on. And for you for this, like what you really do need is you need to uh -huh. you need one thing. You need your calibration code from this thing um, so you can figure out what maps you buy it used like I did, sometimes it'll just show right and it just has them in there. But if it doesn't, like I didn't have, um, you're gonna have to push the info. It tells you to turn your ignition on. And then once you do that, you push okay. Let it go through what it needs to. There we go. And we'll pull up this screen. So basically it tells you your like your type of ECU, um, gives you your VIN. But what you need, like absolutely need, is that right there, your calibration code. Um I filmed everything on like I screen recorded everything I like the whole entire process I went through to get the maps on here. So I'm gonna put that on the screen and it's gonna show you like what I did to download the maps onto the open flash tablet so I can actually tune the car. So I'm gonna insert all of that right now.
So as you guys saw the process I went through to get the maps on here. Okay, I stopped for a minute because I didn't want to just film the whole thing the whole time, but it's almost done. So we'll see what it says when it's done. You and me together. Because I also don't know what it's going to say. Oh, turn ignition power off. Press OK to continue. Move the key. Turn the power off. OK. Turn ignition power on. Press OK to confirm. Please turn on. Ignition's on. OK. Writing complete. Sweet. Switch ignition off for 20 seconds. Start engine and let idle for 60 seconds undisturbed. Do not touch the accelerator pedal or throttle uh, during this during this time. So we're going to turn it off. 20 seconds. Put you guys up here again. I don't know if I'm sweaty, it's really hot. It's middle, it's the middle of June in the summer in New Mexico heat, it's hot. It's like probably a hundred outside. It is, let's check on the weather while we wait. It is currently 75, it is not 75, it feels like 95. Okay, it's been at least 20 seconds. So now what we're gonna do is turn the, turn the car on. seconds. I'm gonna set a timer for this one. And you're doing this so it can read your map, or so it can get used to the new map. So letting a timer run for 60 seconds so it can figure out what it needs for the new tune, which is good.